Let Mr. Masterson in. How you doing, man? How's it going? What's up, man? Good. I almost missed this. I'm still using the... I forgot to update the uh, clock in my car, you know? Just an hour behind everything today. How's oh, it going? Shit. Yeah, it's going good, man. How you been doing? Good, good, good. I see you've um, wiped out all your enemies recently. <laughs> That's been funny. Well, a lot of them. It's funny how things change. Where I just have to get sober, and like people just start self-destructing. Uh, uh, yeah, self-combusting. It's crazy, man. Like I, I didn't really do that much, <laughs> except stop drinking, uh, and stop swallowing pills by the handful or at all. And uh, yeah, they just uh, trip all over themselves to fall on their own mm-hmm. sword. Uh, I saw those wedding pictures. Those were <laughs> oh. so the guy who the guy who was paid to uh, track you down uh, into another country and beat you up. You you found where he and his uh, family live. Is that right? That's that's, that's right. probably not something you'd want to have you having. That's not the kind <laughs> of information I would want you having if I tracked you to another country and assaulted you. Yeah, and apparently it was unethical for me to release that information, uh, even though he literally tracked me to another country and assaulted me. Well, actually, he didn't assault me. He had his pet gorilla assault me, which is even worse. Um, but, yeah, that, that information found its way uh, into my hands, uh, along with the wedding photos that shows he, he married a uh, very sizable woman. Fat, uh, as you might say. I thought that was a picture of him in the cake at first. <laughs> <To go. laughs> I said, oh, that's a bit odd. Why do you take a, first of all, that's a big cake. That's a, <laughs> but why do you take a, oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Her arm is like a ham hock size. I, I, I don't know. It was, it was unreal. And then uh, today he hasn't said much. He's been, he's been silent today oh. after yesterday. I don't know if you saw, he did a stream and said, you know, it's all great. No big deal. He was showing yeah. his house on the screen, which I I thought was – like, I was going to talk about it, but I wasn't going to show his house and stuff because I was worried I would get banned for doing something like that. But yeah. then yeah. he decided to do it for me. So, you know, no problem showing it at that point, right? Uh, huh. So, yeah, it's a, it was an interesting uh, tactical decision uh, from COG, I have to say. Uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know where he goes from here. He screams a lot, I guess. I'd, you know what? If that, if that was my uh, if that was my wife, I'd be streaming more though. <laughs> I'd be streaming twenty five hours. <laughs> yeah, I would think so. Uh, but anyway, we'll we'll see where he goes. What about? Okay, so I have a few topics here. I usually just shoot from the hip, but I actually wrote down. Uh, oh, okay. I actually wrote down a few topics. Wow, we're doing it to pro style today. Eric July, since you've been mm-hmm. here last, uh, has put out Yaira. And uh, I don't know if the Big Mac or Mac Daddy Club of the Month is still going. I assume that it is. But um, the Yaira trailer pretty much universally panned. Uh, and somebody compared it to CW, although that would be an insult to CW. I mean, I know those shows weren't top of the line production-wise, but uh, this was really bad, and it had a he-man-looking woman there as the main character. It's a, No, it was – what is her line? It was supposed to be a dance blow or whatever the fuck. Uh, it was yeah. Very you strange. took that like a chomp. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I thought those guys all hate, like, I thought they all hated, like, strong women uh, characters with women directors and stuff like that. I thought everybody said that's why Hollywood was ruined because of that shit. And now they're just making their own, they're making their own transsexual uh, female heroes, which is odd. But, it's, uh, very odd. The Sasuke sisters uh, are the uh, creative brains, I guess you could say, behind Yaira. Uh, they have a very interesting uh, past as well uh, in the Me Too uh, arena. <laughs> Literally, by the way, I'm not joking about this. Uh, and... So why why did why did Eric hire Me Too uh, piss porno piss twins and then release a documentary where he's groping one of them? Why did he do that? Can someone answer me, answer me that riddle? I don't know. It seems the opposite of everything he's been saying, right? Uh, it seems it seems very fucking dangerous, bro. I don't do black guys just make a couple million bucks and they're like, man, I can't wait to piss this away, uh, fucking around with white women where I'm not supposed to be. Like, why would you release a video where you're fucking hugging 
an employee of yours, a Me Too intersectional feminist, like you're uh, like you just got like you're going to Vietnam the next day and you're you're going to miss the love of your life. Why are you doing that, Eric? You idiot. I don't think I even saw that, actually. Does oh, he... you didn't? No, that's why oh, I'm like. Bro. So the, the Yara trailer, the Yara trailer is like, it's horrible. I saw the I mean, trailer. It's totally incompetent. It's like lifetime level, Hallmark level movie making. Total, it's hilarious, though. It's funny, right? Maybe Worski understands what's what's so funny about Eric July now. But uh, then they made a 10 minute trailer on the making of the two minute, or they made a 10 minute behind the scenes documentary on the making of the Yara trailer. And there's just way too many, there's way too many of one of the Sasuke sisters looking at Eric July with fuck me eyes. And there's way too much like touching and stroking and touching of the small of the back. And like a lingering embrace at the end, it's totally inappropriate. Now, did he? I have to see this now after you leave. Did he put this on his main channel? Where is this? Yeah, it's on Ripperverse Studio. Somebody made a cut of all their uh, of all their flirting and shit in it. Dude, uh, I don't. <laughs> this is just blowing my mind. It's dumb. <laughs> It's fucking dumb. I mean, I don't care. It's not my wife, but it's not my marriage, but it's fucking stupid. I mean, that would explain a lot about how they got the gig, though. Uh, yeah. Yes. Because uh, otherwise it doesn't really make any sense. that, Like you said, they're intersectional feminists, outspokenly so, too. Not just, yeah. you know, feminists and name only or anything like that. Like, the outspoken Feminists, supporters of Me Too, a lot of trans just, kids. Yeah, trans we gotta lock kids. these little wieners off and eat them. Yeah, it's just completely. Uh, Gabe gets the foreskin. They're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna split them up, slice them, up, slice up those little wieners like, like uh, sushi. Cut the foreskin off. <laughs> Dude, I have to see this. Link that to me later. I have to pull that up on the show. I, I haven't seen the, I haven't seen the making of. I somehow I missed that. You know, I'm covering so many different lanes here. Let um, me see if I have it. Somebody, let me see if somebody sent it to me. Yeah, if you have, they always it, send me it. this shit in the wrong place. Just fucking email it to me. Uh, the Yaira trailer is all I saw. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, you, you actually have it. Yeah, the Ralph retort. The yeah, okay. I'm gonna send it to your the domain, the Ralph retort dot com. Okay, my email. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there you go. All right, I'll, I'll await that to come in. Uh, the Ralph. At the, by the way, if anybody wants to email me, the Ralph at the Ralph uh, is my email. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll pull that up. But uh, how has how has Yaira been doing? You know, I saw it's still making money, but the customer spend per customer is going up, uh, and not really bringing in any new customers. I don't know if you if you've been looking at some of this stuff. I, I just happened to see it cursory glance. Uh, on Twitter. Oh yeah. It's like a million bucks or something. A million five. Yeah. But the, the average spend is like $160 or something like that. That's a you guys lot. Are going to like a, yeah. They're going to like a Rolling Stones concert. Yeah. Is buying this shitty comic book. I don't understand. Um, that's, a, I mean, you would want the minimum spend to be a lot more or, or the whatever average spend. I mean, less. to be a lot less, sorry, I misspoke. Uh, the minimum spend to be a lot less because that means, uh, it's a smaller base shelling out more money. It's just not sustainable long term. At least you wouldn't think so. Although they're talking about making, was it making toys and doing all this stuff now too, I guess, cause man, Skyver's making toys. Um, yeah, we need some uh, black action figures. <laughs> if and, he made uh... a black exploitation figure, I would buy it. I'm not gonna lie. If he made him in like the black exploitation <laughs> style, because that started here in the kill stream, I would legitimately yeah. buy that. I know he's tried to own every other meme, quote unquote. He's got the 3D uh, asset shirt. I know you saw that as well, which I'm like, yeah. wow, great. Uh, yeah. But if I he, want that one. That yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> if he if he did the black exploitation though, he would have me. That that would have him in like you know a purple felt hat or something and like <laughs> a fur coat with a pimp stick right like I I would actually go in for that but I don't know you could play you it with a button on the back like bitch better have my money every time you play bitch better have my money on one hundred sixty dollars right now I got the warehouse to feed.
my money. <laughs> Give me my money, bitch. Yeah, now that, and it just says like different, different saying. Welcome game. to the parallel economy. <laughs> Give me my money. It's you a bad a parallel. <laughs> This money's dirty. <laughs> Give us some new money. <laughs> We're taking on Marvel. We hate Marvel. And DC is going down. Give me that money. <laughs> uh, holy shit. Don't give him any ideas. He might actually do this now. I, hopefully this gets back to him. I, I would actually like that to get back to him. I mean, uh, I like that he's taking money from these, like, degenerate weirdos and then just giving it to other weirdos that work for him and his his warehouse landlord like i don't give a shit the weird like pretend business these guys are playing i mean um, if, as long as the tax man gets his cut that's yeah, all i care about yeah exactly don't cheat on those for sure but mm -hmm. uh yeah i mean i, I if he can sell we all know bullshit. how it goes ralph when uh, people try to cheat the tax man don't we uh, it goes badly I've it goes some... badly for you <laughs> the irs is coming they're taking your house the uh, FPB is coming. The uh, franchise tax boards are coming. They're taking your shit. They're going to repo it. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. That hurts, don't it? <laughs> oh, oh, I've heard a few things. <laughs> <laughs> what could you be talking about? I'm not sure. Um... Oh, how much is that microphone? The tax man needs a microphone. The tax man's going to do a podcast. Uh, the tax man likes Disney mugs too. Get them over here. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> uh, oh man, homeowners associations too. Those can be a bitch. But um, those can be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're encouraging me. I, I I promised myself I wouldn't. I wouldn't go. At least you have uh, your health. Oh wait a minute, you don't have that either. <laughs> Uh, it's tough, man. Things have been changing at a stunning rate. Like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, I don't know. It's like, I just stopped drinking, and it's like, okay, here's like 15 massive W's in a row. All right, well, I'll take that. Uh, speaking of, you know what? Before we do the re redo of Healer thing, and I have the video that you sent, but it won't play oh, through God. while you're yeah, here. Yeah, sorry. It won't yeah. play through while you're here, uh, so I'll, I'll play it after. But before we do the redo a healer thing, I saw uh, Worski's ex uh, e girlfriend, who he claimed as his e girlfriend himself. Um, she's in the chat right now. Did you see any of that the other day? Yeah, I saw some of it. Um, oh man, she was like. Uh, it sounded like she was kind of like Worski's mom for a little bit. Yeah, it did kind of sound like that. It sounded like that was what he wanted. He said he was going to drop it. He loved her. He, 16 messages in a row, the 16 lines. He loved her. He was going to drop everything and move to Europe and be yeah. with her. And he he, he, he asked about her Now, you got to fuck the girl first before you say that That's shit. That's what I said. I was, uh, yeah, I was listening to that. I'm like, man, I mean, you got to throw some bigger words in there. Words like atavistic. You got to... You got to go reread my uh, DMs and use some of that stuff, man. I was putting on a course. <laughs> that shit, you could have Andrew Tate did that shit. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Um, but you can't be sending those three messages in a row either. Two, oh. two, and then you're done. Then you have to stop. You have yeah, to wait. You have to wait until they respond. It's like, are you, you've blown it. Plus, this is somebody yeah. who's never even fucked. This is what I was saying during the show the other day. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's yeah. one thing if you've, you know, you've been with this person, whatever, and you're, you're saying all this stuff. But this is somebody he's never even met ever, much less fucked. He's never even met them. And I'm in love with you, and I'm going to move across the world, and I'm, I just want to be with you. Please, 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 please. Uh, I mean, that's – it comes off as psychotic, right? Are your daughters going to be – are they going to be cool with me sleeping in the bed with you? I'm, oh, boy. That's a little too close to home, buddy. Uh, would it be weird if I slept in the bed with you? Yeah, I think it would be, Andy. Like, I – can I bring some earplugs to, for your daughters for while we're while I'm blowing your back out? <laughs> the whole thing was just insanely uh, strange, and he tried to call her a psycho, 
and said that uh, she couldn't be understood. Andy Worski critiquing someone's uh, ability to be understood. The stuttering uh, retard coke fiend himself, who a good 60% of the time you can't un- actually understand what he's saying. <laughs> Right. Uh, he you know, could, she was a little rough too, though. Maybe they, maybe they could get that. Maybe they could both uh, get over their speech impediments together. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to pick on the poor woman. She seemed perfectly lovely, but oh man, some of those answers. It was, uh, well, it was she about eight minutes. Fine, but she, she did speak <laughs> at length at certain points, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> but like you can understand what she's saying at least. Worsty speaks in utter like, rah, rah, rah. like I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's pretty tough. Uh, and you saw he moved. Uh, he moved out of uh, PPP's house or their house together, uh, and he moved in and imported the the meth whore from Australia. Oh no, she's literally oh, from no. the meth capital of Australia. Uh, I don't know if you, I'm not kidding. By the way, she's from the meth capital mm. of Australia, and he's moving her in. And I don't know if you saw some of her messages to, to Tommy C, but they were pretty, pretty unhinged. She uh, said, you have "I saw that." Ten minutes yeah, I did to see re- that. reply to me. Uh, ten minutes. Well, I'm countdown. <laughs> Yeah, it was like that. <laughs> Why are you such a bad man? And I defended you, and I left Tipster's Discord for you. And it's like, oh, dude, bitch, like, what are you talking about? Like, man, you got to keep these bitches on signal, always. Yes. You can never give them this kind of ammo. You know, I, I, it's funny. It's funny what's, what's happening, but, you know, these bitches ain't loyal. You got to you give them a little bit. It's going to come back and skunk you. I know a guy who told me that many years ago. And uh, <laughs> I, I used Signal for a while and uh, still talk to some people on Signal, but I stopped using it with uh, females. And uh, lo and behold. <laughs> all, every time it'll come back and bite you. They all, and they know it too. They're all, they all try to weasel you off onto other apps. Yes. I'm like, get, get out of here, bitch. Yeah, I'm she fucking... can get them on signal for a minute. And they're like, oh, why don't we use WhatsApp? Why don't we do this? Like, oh, yeah, God. it's more silly. There's like more sillier emojis there. <laughs> Signal's like too bleh. <laughs> no, bitch, get on signal. Fuck you. Uh... That's revenge porn what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, and because you know why? Because they, they don't ever screen cap at the moment, right? They always no. go back. Because, no, I mean, almost nobody does that, right? You just don't even no. think about it. They go back at the end when the archives are there. Uh, yeah. And then it's like, oh, if you're on Signal, you know, it deletes in a week or whatever. You can set it to do that. Uh, and so they don't have that. Uh, now, thank God she did have that. Uh, I see her in the chat says, he was the one being a female moving me from app to app. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, <laughs> that sounds about right with Horsky. Uh But, yes. <laughs> He has the insights. Definitely use Signal. I I can co-sign that in every single way. Uh, and I haven't followed the advice. Uh, and mysteriously, some of my messages end out there and they uh, end up there in the public domain. All right, I just wanted to touch on the Worsky stuff a little bit. I won't, I won't go on out too much. I had forgotten about that. It's been such a busy week. Uh, I had forgotten about that fucking interview you did. It has uh. been just. Fucking, you know, absolute domino after domino falling. Uh, I, I see. Okay, so I saw Vito tweet this out. I don't know if he took down the tweet. I actually pulled up the tweet on the screen, and I was like, oh, fuck, no. Uh, now, it was blurred out, but it was a screenshot from, I, I think it was the manga version of Redo of Healer. Uh, oh, very dirty, dirty child, child sex comic that... Uh... That old Yellow Flash was looking at, huh? Oh, boy. Yellow Dirty Flash, stuff. Who calls Vito a pedophile and everybody a pedophile, I guess. Um, that's his favorite anime, I think, or manga, whatever the fuck you want to call it. 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Not even 10 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Not even 11 out of 10. Right. Yeah, he one, skipped a one number. more. He was so hot and bothered, he skipped the number 11 and went straight to 12. Maybe that's the age that he prefers, and that's why he picked 12. I'm not sure, but... Uh, age range. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yellow flag. He's like on Tinder. He doesn't want to cut himself out. You know, you got to set the range. You know, I, I prefer 11 and 10, but I'll take 12. I'll take a drawing of a 12-year-old getting fucked. I, you know... What not is, choosy when I'm in the mood for it. <clears throat> what, is, what is with this guy? Um, Yellow Flash, is he, isn't he? is he going to do – didn't he say he was going to do a comic 
on the Ripaverse imprint or whatever the fuck. Yeah, he's going to do like, uh, it's like a prequel where all the characters are four years old and they're all fucking <laughs> each other, I think I heard. Like the Muppet Babies, except porn- pornographic. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it, man. So Vito, uh, Vito says cutie should be legal, like, and it is legal. He's like, okay, fine. But then this fucking guy, everyone calls him a pedophile. Uh, and he says, okay, yeah, whatever. I'm going to come fuck your kids, right? Normal, normal shit to say. Then the guy, <laughs> then Yellow Flash calling him a pedophile is promoting just like the grossest like i'm i think it should be free speech too but it's really fucking like sick and uh gross i don't like it like i don't like looking at it i don't like hearing about it uh i don't want to read it i don't care if it's the fucking godfather i don't want to read something where a bunch of little children are getting raped i don't care if it's a time traveling guy and what the reason is for the rape i don't want to read it it's fine but where does this? Where does Yellow Flash get off calling Vito a pedophile with, with this in his back pocket, like with this in his closet? What the fuck is he talking about? And they're all like that too. They're, I mean, they're all into the, you know, redo of Healer. You know, I'd heard that name before because of Gator talking about it, and I oh no, I, I okay, sw- I swear. <laughs> And I was like, wait, because I, I, I don't follow anime. I know a call, you know, I know Evangelion, a couple of them. I, I don't really, I haven't really watched much of them, but like, I know a couple of the better ones, right? Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Like, everybody knows that shit. Yeah. But I, I remember Gator waxing poetically about Redo of Healer. And I remember the name because it's kind of a weird name, right? Redo of Healer. Um, yeah. It kind of yeah. sticks in your brain. I was like, wait, I've heard. That's a cool name. Yeah, well, until you find out it's about child fucking, and then it's like, well, no. Uh, <laughs> Not my tempo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't give it away in the title. Redo of Healer. What does that mean? Uh, yeah, it sounds interesting. You open the page, oh, and it's like, oh, amazing. Shit, whoa. It's fucking. Yeah, whoa, hold on. Wait, I... No, the first one was fine. I don't need the redo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just give me this, the healer. I, I... Yeah, the <laughs> Undo the healer. I need. Mean, how about that one? Like, put their gloves back on. <laughs> yeah. What was, what was the original healer like? I don't know. Maybe it was even worse. Man. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but yellow- which again, I don't care about. Like all these, like I don't know, a bunch of you know, anime people are all like, you got to explain things six or seven times to them before they understand uh, the intricacies of human interaction. But I'm like, look. I don't give a shit that you that you guys like this stuff, but Yellow Flash is going around calling like calling people a pedophile for far less for far less for far less offensive things and a uh, dog fucker. He started Yellow Flash started calling this woman, this housewife, yes. a dog fucker because she ran a she ran an Inuyasha uh, uh, fan site and someone was they were reviewing like the weird fan fix that people upload and one was like a pornographic and they were so this girl this lady was laughing at it. Which they like, which they do. Like women find that shit funny. I don't know what to like. They're not men. They're not. If you, if women are looking at a bunch of porn, they're probably laughing, not furiously and frantically jacking off to it at home. <laughs> um, it's nuts. It's nuts. It's nuts. Yeah, and I'm glad you doing. brought that up because I saw I we covered that a little bit, uh, and they literally just flat out called her a dog fucker. Because yeah, Eric of too. This. Eric, July, Eric too. July did it himself. Yeah, he's like, yeah, the other side's rolling with dog fuckers and pedos and all this and that. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Uh, you know, I know I'm from the sector and we've had some crazy things said and, and go around here, but that's uh, a little beyond the pale. It's, uh, she's a mother too, right? Like, I, uh, I, I don't know. Just smearing somebody's a dog fucker. You need to have something there. Uh, at least her actually like kissing a dog or something. Even like, I, I don't know. Uh, you see what Obama did to this country? He made it okay for a, a black man to call a, not a white house mom a dog fucker with, and still sell a comic about a she-male the next day. Uh, the she-male. Unbelievable. We used to have a proper country, um, but no longer. <laughs> That's why I'm in Mexico. Um, and then Yellow Flash, do I have this? Let me see if I can pull this up. He, uh, he lolly judas his... His supporter, the Lolly Judas. I, I see this. Oh, yeah. This. <clears throat> yeah, pull, I forgot about that, too. I'll pull this up. And he said somebody confronted him with a with a Kiwi Farms thread, I guess, of uh, 
uh, or Vito tweet uh, about some artist. I guess he was a Lollicon artist. Uh, and, you know, those Lollicons. I never, uh, I won't get into that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little inside commentary there. But, uh, uh, don't get into the Lollicons, I'll say. Uh, now, a little double entendre there. But, Yellow Flash Guy says, I haven't talked to him in a while, and I didn't promote those drawings. You, however, are supporting a pedophile who has plenty oh. of lolly under his belt. Does oh. Does Vito have lolly? They keep saying that about Vito, but I, I no, don't Vito think he does has not lolly. Like lolly. He has saying. no lolly to speak of. Uh, he does not like it. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, no, not at all. Not even one lolly under his belt. Are you sure? B- positive. <laughs> <laughs> well, he definitely doesn't that. have like hours and dozens of streams where he's promoting his his best friend's uh lolly comic which is just page after page of drawings of kids getting fucked <laughs> which is yellow flash right like that's what yeah. that's what's on yeah. his record uh mm-hmm. and a matter of fact the lolly cons attack veto on Twitter, uh, and I've seen him getting into arguments with the Lollicons, and they keep just repeating this, Vito's into Lolly, Vito's a pedophile, just ad nauseum with n- no proof whatsoever. It's not like he no. ran a forum for pedophiles explicitly or anything like that. Uh, they just keep, like some people uh, that I've heard of, they just keep repeating this nonstop, and it's been going on for like five years now. Yeah, Um <clears throat> it's crazy. Now, let's talk about... He uh, is late with his comic, though. They should hit true. him with that. He that's really true. fucked that up. That is true. And then, aren't they like... One of his plot devices is being used in Deadpool, I think, or, or something like that? <laughs> yeah, the, the whole plot device. The entire plot device. <laughs> I sent him a message. I'm like, hey, you should just quit. Like, just take the money. <laughs> <laughs> so go on vacation do another comic like it's over <laughs> do the actual rug pull now because like once Deadpool mm-hmm. comes out and everybody sees it they're gonna say he ripped off Deadpool aren't they <laughs> <laughs> and every like the way they're doing it or I don't know the announcement everybody's like what a stupid idea this idea sucks <laughs> it's like oh man so you're not only gonna be second but you're gonna be second to an idea that everybody hates now <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. Oh, well, Van Skyver said it's good. I haven't seen a, I haven't seen a trial run of it, but if if it comes out, uh, I, I will read it. He said he would give me uh, a review copy uh, down here in Mexico. Turns out the artist is actually in Mexico as well. Uh, which oh, I didn't know, can but... you go crack the whip on him? <laughs> go like, well, they work or at fucking their... smack him until he until some pages fall out. Take they a kinda, bath like a pinata. They kind of work at their own speed uh, down here in. <laughs> Uh, uh-huh. In Mexico, um, no, no insult to them, but uh, they're a little bit more relaxed. Now they can build shit so quickly, though. Uh, yeah, you know, like I- I'll see them and they'll have a house built in like a week. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, how they- don't don't go inside of it though. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they just work, uh, and they built this this train. There's been some problems with the high speed rail uh, thing mm. that they built through <laughs> through the okay. uh, Mayan jungle, basically. Uh, yeah. it connects Merida and Campeche and Cancun and Chetumal and ba- Bacalar and all these beautiful places. But they like speed rushed it so Amlo could get it out before his term was over. Uh oh. And uh, they had like I was driving to Cancun, and they literally had at least 5,000 people up and down the road working uh, on the train stuff. And I've never seen that many people working on anything ever. It was like old world type, you know, pyramid building shit. And um, they kind of speed ran it though. And there's been, there's been a few issues. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll see if his artist can, can uh, pick up the pace a little bit. Maybe he'll have to get on that. Uh, what is the name of it? I can't remember. The uh, Trend Maya, which means Mayan train, basically. Uh, now, I mentioned Vito, and I, I mentioned uh, Null, a little uh, esoteric mention. Now, Null was on with uh, that Sean Lawyer dude a couple weeks ago, and I came in right after And during Null's appearance, he said he was so convinced that Vito was a pedophile that he would pull the trigger on Vito and kill Vito. 
that's how convinced he was that he was a pedophile. That he would he would personally kill Vito Giovanni. Wow. Is what he said. And I I didn't know if you had saw that or had any thoughts about that. I did see that. Um, <clears throat> man, it's uh, pretty uh, pretty intense. Must be um, he must be really sure of his convictions, I guess, and <laughs> not just seething about a comedian <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> it's he should go into more detail about it, like about how he's gonna kill him and stuff. It was really bizarre. That would be cool. I was sitting there, and of course, I called in right after. I was trying to call him while he was still there, but he mysteriously bounced once he heard I was coming in there. Um, but I was watching. He just that hates was... Vito so much, man. I don't. I don't know why. It doesn't even make. He hated any him sense. before the. Yeah, he hated him before he decided he was a pedophile. Yeah, now he's kind of retcon that in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I don't really know why he hates Vito so much. Uh, it's it's bizarre. You know, I I. I don't think I mean I guess Vito's responded to him a little bit after, but you know Vito wasn't going after him uh, bef- before all this, and it's just like seething hatred of Vito. Um, and I see James Gardner with the super chat, and he says <laughs> Vito's cool. Uh, fuck Tug, which is the umbrella guy. Fuck Yellow Flash, and Mary Jane has a chatter in here. Moderator says Mary Jane likes dick, but so does everyone here. Uh, mm. I agree with that. <clears throat> Queers. <laughs> but Noel also launched a legal fund that raised one hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars, which is quite, oh yeah, quite a bit of money. And then he was going to sue these people, and well, they they settled. They didn't even settle. They just said, okay, yeah, I guess there's no child child porn on Kiwi Farms. We we retract that statement, and they gave him like a certified letter. And I, I don't think they that costs. a certified letter? Yeah, yeah. He requested a certified letter. I'm not kidding. Oh, okay. Here yes. you go. A certified letter. And <laughs> that was worth $170,000, uh, apparently. And Russell Greer, who's fi- filing or has filed, I guess, a pro se lawsuit against him. And then he's talking about suing the tranny. Uh, excuse me, transgender, <laughs> uh, Liz Fong Jones or whatever the fuck her name is. Oh. Uh, but he raised a hundred and basically one hundred and seventy thousand uh, dollars for this, and uh, I haven't heard about any uh, reimbursements or, or where all that money's going. But no, uh, he's got. Well, I I said at the beginning you should keep it. Like that's um, whatever happens, he should he should not sue anybody. That's not enough money to. That's not enough money to sue anybody, and, and money isn't just like it doesn't just fall from the sky. Like Eric July, Eric July is the only person that money just <laughs> rains perpetually for. He got um, the money tree, Dick. I mean, you know, uh... <laughs> man, he does. He's got the he's got the dumbest fucking people on the internet giving him money for that shit. Uh, one hundred and sixty bucks a pop for a t-shirt with a with a, a trans superhero on it. Yeah, no matter what uh, you say about him, it's consistent. Like, I mean, he does have that base. I mean, I I don't even hate on that. Yeah. I, I like I the the product the product uh, sucks, but I mean, you know, if people are willing to pay for it, you know, what can you say, right? Like, I I don't. Well, it's I, hilarious from from my end. It's just it's hysterical because it's endless shit to make fun of. He can't talk, so that's funny. Um, I have become the villain in his for his entire universe, so more attention for me and the more people the more of these like right-wing comic book guys that he ropes into like when he goes on stream with them they're they're terrified of of criticizing his shitty products like these guys who are always walking around all bombastical about how dog shit marvel is and all these crappy things for children that they're always crying about they're always so critical of them but but then when eric's around i tuck their tail between their legs it's all so funny uh, so I hope he, he keeps making it forever. I don't care. I don't care how much money his uh, his pay pigs give him. Um, but for the the no lawsuit, I I do hope he I hope he doesn't sue anybody. It just seems like such a waste, and it's not enough money to make any kind of difference. Like Elon's dumping money into that retarded Gino Carano oh. lawsuit, and that's not going to go anywhere. That's a fuck. Like if you if you spend his money on bad lawsuits, you're going to make things worse for everybody. Because they're going to lose. And then the next guy, who, a guy who has a good case or like someone that people actually want to support, it's going to be harder for them to fight. So 
Plus, you're up I against don't... Disney's legal team. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I... <laughs> yeah. Uh, they've been at it for a while uh, and managed to get copyright laws changed so Mickey Mouse was mm-hmm. protected for extra 30 years or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, you know, they're pretty powerful. Uh, and I would imagine they have some really good lawyers, and the, the lawsuit's not going anywhere. Uh, and if no. you say that, some people get really angry. And I'm like, well, I mean, it's obviously not going anywhere. right? Um, They're so pissed off. It's just like <clears throat> so much of this right-wing uh, grifting shit has become uh, the church where they just whip their stupid fran- fans up into thinking that they can, like, clap enough and Tinkerbell will, Tinkerbell will die instead of coming back to life. Um <laughs> And does anybody really care about Gina Carano getting fired from the Mandalorian in the first place? Like, I, I mean, I, you no, know, fuck her. Yeah, like she I, threw she threw uh, the men under the bus right away. She's like, oh yeah, well, Gina should be able to say whatever because a bunch of guys did. It's like, well, what the fuck do they have to do with it? Yeah, dry snitching. That's what that's called. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. yeah. let's let's break somebody yeah. else into it. Oh, well, they're doing this, this, and that. It's like, okay, well, just keep it oh, to yourself. What the fuck? Yeah, trying to throw other people under the bus. Uh, and you know, she was also told. This is my understanding that um, what's his name, Pablo Pascal or Pedro Pascal? I forget his his actual name. The star of the yeah. show was like, hey, just put out some boilerplate, you know, apology, right? And they won't fire you. And, yeah, and she refused to do that. Now I know your longstanding position is just just apologize, right? Whether you mean yeah. it or not, doesn't fucking matter. It's about the money, right? <laughs> just do it. You Stop respond. She was responding to like people with one like on their tweets. Like that was her. That was her version of getting bullied. She's like, well, I had to respond. I was getting bullied by these trans mobs. Like you, you picked people out just so you could talk about how important hating trans shit was to you. Which a lot of people support. I mean, I don't because I think trans women are our allies against women. Fuck women's spaces. Uh, hopefully everyone will come around. I realize I'm ahead of my time, but hopefully you'll all come around. All these bitches want is to have their Title IX safe spaces back. And the real issue is those Title IX safe spaces to begin with. Um, but, yeah, she, her whole lawsuit just seems like a big coke fest. Now, I have a few, a few other notes here. I, uh, going back to... To know, I just happened to see this yesterday, and I went on with Riley and Mint Salad uh, in the last few weeks. I went on their show. Uh, I think that was in February, actually. <clears throat> so last month, I went on their show, and I just happened to see this on 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 Kiwi Farms, and he, um, I guess, had predicted that she would open an OnlyFans or some shit, uh, which she did, and makes a lot of money off of it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, makes it makes a very good <laughs> makes a very good living uh, off of it. Uh, didn't seem like the worst decision actually uh, for her, um, but um, he, he said he predicted it because, uh, let's see, she was in the custody. This is a direct quote, by the way. She was in the custody of she. Excuse me. She was a mentally handicapped young woman in the custody oh. of two drug peddling adult perverts. Uh, is, is what he said. Uh, who is that? Well, I, the, I'm assuming that he, I, I'm assuming that he meant you and Riley, but uh, I guess we could clear this up. First of all, I don't I don't consider you a, a drug peddler, but uh, uh, <laughs> no, I don't I'm know. people can make their own my drug. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the guns are to protect my drugs. <laughs> 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 But uh, do you have any custody over Mint Salad? I, 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 don't, I don't think that that's accurate either. Uh... Yeah, I adopted her. Uh, <laughs> after she called into my show, I brought, I, I, uh, Vito hooked me up with one of his child purchasing agents, and I uh, <laughs> used him. I approached her Mint's parents and said, uh, you know, how much for the women? How much for the little girl? Uh, <laughs> they were reasonable. You know, it's Hollywood, man. You can't uh, you can't walk down the street. You can't jack off without coming on a uh, child trafficker in, in Hedo Wood. Um, of course it's accurate. Of course it's accurate. Plus, she's grown, dude. Like, what is – I mean, I don't know her exact age. She's like 20, early 20s or some shit. I mean, she obviously has the agency to decide whether she wants to do – only fans or porn, whatever you want to call it or not. Right. Uh, and she made a ton of money off of it. Like I, 
whatever you think about OnlyFans, I know you know some people in chat don't like it. Whatever, that's fine. Um, and it can be a mistake. Yeah, I put for some people, fans but... on the same level of uh, as uh, getting on a microphone on the internet and uh, using a bunch of racial slurs to make money. <laughs> that's probably it's probably are, are equally as respectable. So uh, I don't think I'm the I'm the uh, I don't think I'm the one to judge. But everybody, you know, it's kind of played out but all these motherfuckers are watching porn so what it's it's just the yeah, i mean it's played out where but it's coming from i mean she made a lot of money off of it so i guess my issue with it um is you know some of these women are making i mean i don't care do you know whatever i, I don't i'm not bleeding heart for these whores out here but yeah you know some that and i'm not calling they don't need whore. your sympathy don't yeah, worry. yeah they don't need my sympathy <laughs> right exactly i don't get any from them i won't give any to, to them yeah uh but you know so when these, the whore con wears off it's something else they find <laughs> jesus it's a whole fucking new world of con don't worry that's They're right fine. That's right, but she she did it and was successful, right? And made a bunch of money and still making a bunch of money. Uh, it's not like one of these uh, chicks who does it and you know makes twenty five dollars a month or something like that. She made a pile of money off of it. Uh, and you, can yeah. say, you can say that's wrong, but it wasn't exactly um, you know if you morally wrong if you feel that way. But like it wasn't a bad business decision, now was it? Uh, <laughs> right? She made a shit ton no, of money. I uh yeah. so not everyone can have fake lawsuits to pay the rent no um oh, well uh, they're hard to come by uh now <laughs> let me ask you <laughs> i don't i haven't consumed any of her um any of her only fans content but uh she's fun everyone likes her yeah i like Mal a lot uh even though we've been into a fist fight. <laughs> oh yeah i forgot about that <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had, had a little fist fight, but you know these things happen. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> she packs a punch too. She might have thought about getting into MMA or boxing or something like that too. Uh, still not too late, actually. She wanted to uh, broaden her horizons here, uh, and that would probably boost the. Now only that fans. is worse. That is actually dangerous and bad for you. Um, women's MMA and boxing and all that shit. That I would have a problem with, but. Chicks taking their tops off for money? I, I do not give a fuck. I take my shirt off all the time. No one fucking... They tell me to put it back on. <laughs> well, chicks taking their top off for money, that's a tale literally as old as time. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> uh, okay, I have a couple other notes. Captain Manning. Look, we have enough uh, planes flying out, uh, falling out of the sky now. We don't need women uh, get doing other jobs, Okay. Let's get the planes thing under control first. Then we can start uh, in on OnlyFans again, <laughs> guys. Yeah, can we? Can, All right. For our own safety, can we just wait, do one yeah. battle at a time? Uh, yeah. But I saw you had commented on the Captain Manning thing, and this was a few weeks ago, but uh, I covered it. Do you know Captain Manning, first off? Do you know this reference that I'm making? Um. There was a guy, I think Nick Ricada said, there was a guy he like took, there's a guy who said he was going to kill himself. Yes. And then Nick took him to the hospital or got him to the hospital. And then the guy has turned around and used that familiarity to trash Nick on Kiwi Farms like all the time now. Yes. Is that right? For years. Yeah. That's all I know. Oh, it, years. Yes. It's years now. Oh, yes. Oh, God. It's literally years now. Uh, and he also had, uh, an article written about him because he sought out, um, he, he sought out this author named, or journalist, quote unquote, named Eleanor Clift. And this was in like 2014, 2015. And he was able to buy a gun, even though he had been 5150. Uh, I think, what? In, yeah, I think in California or Arizona. So he had been 5150. And technically, he wasn't <clears throat> supposed to be able to buy a gun, but he was. And then he sought this journalist out and said, hey, this should have never happened. Don't you want to write a story about it? Which, of course, she was a lib who wanted, wanted to take everybody's guns. So she did write a story about it. And it's him in the article, you know, doing the, oh, this should never happen. And, uh, you know, they need to fix this and close this loophole when he was the guy who, like, he did it. He went and bought the guns, and he, then he went to her and said, oh, isn't this so terrible uh, what? to restrict gun laws? Wow. Yes. yes, that actually Somebody's got to stop these guys from raping kids. Here I go again. <laughs> That's what right. The fuck? <laughs> it's literally that type of scenario. Won't somebody stop this while he's out there to purchase a gun uh, and bought it? I... <laughs>
I don't know. Dude, that's like, that's like, see, Zion a lot of the, sent $2 I mean, a lot of the on crying Noll does. Let's yeah. get a fuck the need gears from Dick. Uh, I think he's just being a goofball. Uh, but a lot of this, like, moralizing and lectures and judgment coming from Noll and some of these other guys like PPP, it con- contrasted with the kind of behavior that's going on on Kiwi Farms, like this sick obsession, like sick attention whoring and obsession with other people to the degree that you're to the degree to the degree that you're you know stalking for all intents and purposes is um is is orders of magnitude more degenerate than chicks taking their tops off for money like this is it's like seething um toxicity of guys like this like i'm gonna go do a bunch of shit then go get a reporter's attention and try to craft some weird story about myself for what well, it was for attention. Bizarre. It was for attention. Yeah. Uh, and <clears throat> that's the same reason he, he, he did what he did to Ricada. Like, you know, Ricada helped yeah. him. When he probably shouldn't have, honestly. But, you know, if somebody messaged me and said they were going to kill themselves, I might say, hey, don't do it. You know, here, call this number or whatever. Just try, you know. I might, right? Uh, but yeah, you know, it's one of these. No, you ex- shouldn't though. You shouldn't though. You I shouldn't. know. You really uh, shouldn't. No, that's the worst thing. That's the hardest thing to teach or to get like women to understand is these guys. Like, I mean, even that girl, Andy's, um, Andy's, whatever she was, ex mom or whatever the fuck that mommy GF was. Uh, she said the reason that she played into it in the first place, and she could be lying uh, or just not even aware of it, was because she was like saw him as like a wounded animal. And you got to just put it, you wounded animals. You got to put down. You can't let them close, uh, no matter what. They'll bring you down too. It's true. Uh, and you know, you think you're being a good guy or a good woman or whatever. Uh, and there's a reason, right? Like they're they're gaming you. Uh, and yeah. as, as soon as he didn't get enough attention from Ricada. He turned on him uh, and went yeah. to Kiwi Farms and put all this stuff out and then used his supposed closeness to Ricada, which wasn't, he didn't really have any closeness, right? But, like, um, you know, he had communicated with him some in private because Nick's being a nice guy. Uh, and then he yeah. used that to spread bullshit about Nick and his family for years. And it was all because, you yeah. know, Nick stopped texting him, <laughs> right? What a psycho dedicate your life to it too it's like uh i don't know every day for years and still to this day post about nick ricada uh non-stop and uh i did do a little segment on that a few weeks ago it's one of my favorite segments of the year the article is really just takes the cake uh but anyway i wanted to touch upon that and i have a couple other topics i won't keep you all night but uh jeff bezos i saw you tweet about this yesterday i guess he gave his wife a shit ton of money, basically like half his money, I think, at the time, or a good mm-hmm. portion of it. He's the richest man again, by the way. So, uh, you know, it worked out, I guess, in that regard. He didn't exactly go broke, but he gave her billions of dollars. And she has been giving the money away to some of the most <laughs> despicable uh, places that she can. Uh, this, That's great. This a $640 million dollar uh grant to an advocate of equity environmentalism okay i guess maybe uh, uh, okay public health and gender justice uh, yeah from ages 12 to 10 special yeah. program 640 million dollars uh she just she just gave away and she's been doing this uh for quite some time and i think she said she's going to give away all the money this is like a spite thing against Bezos, obviously. Uh, it's right, like, you know, she's just giving away all of his money to all these fucking organizations. Uh, and I saw you tweet about it and said, <laughs> what was it you said? Hold on, let me see. Thanks a lot, Bezos, you fucking dick. The money would have been better off wasted on lawyers. <laughs> yeah, just keep her in court forever. Don't give me, don't give her any of that shit, man. Come on. You gotta, you gotta save us. Or tax billionaires at 100% so they can't use their money to, um, you know, have us uh, hang to have men hanged in the street, which is where all of it's going. It's fucking insane. Then I saw this was today, and I'll I'll leave it here, and then maybe one little thing at the end. But um, I I, I didn't know this was happening because I don't live in Miami, but uh, I guess there's a senior skip day going on. High school seniors, by the way, some of whom are probably 18, 17, 18 years old, right? (laughs) Uh, So there's a senior skip day today in Miami, and the police – 
were made aware of it, and they put out a video about skipping school. It's just one day, as far as I know. Students are reminded that skipping school, whether given permission by your parents or not, is considered truancy, and you will be taken back to school if caught. The police, the Miami-Dade Police Department, put out a video about this today, Dick. Like, what? Mm. Skipping you school? Gotta, Seniors in high school? remember this kind of stuff when, uh, like, guys like Chauvin go to jail. You know, yeah. remember the other, remember this, what cops are doing normally. Um, Absolute yeah. trash like this. Like, and, and first off, it's one day. Second off, they're seniors in high school. Like, what in the fuck are the police doing? Maybe, uh, I don't know, go work on stopping rapes or something? I don't want any police officers hanging around high school age girls, or boys for that matter. Um, that they're bragging about it is uh, is not a good thing. I don't want cops out patrolling for 17, 18-year-old girls. Um, they're well, not they good people. They did that people. already. <laughs> yeah, I don't, want to, I don't want them to have an excuse, right? Like, oh, honey, be careful. There's a lot of cops out there, you know, skulking around for girls that they can uh, pull over and uh, get their phone numbers out of. Also, it'd be one um, thing if they just, like, did this or took note of the skip day and, like, hey, go back to school or whatever. But it's it's a PR video of this fucking thug, let's be real, walking around. Yeah, 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 I saw it. Yeah, saw it. It's, some, it's some thug who would be a gang member if he wasn't a police officer. And he is a gang member, the biggest gang in town, right? Like, that's what my dad used to always say. The cops are the biggest gang in town, and they they act like a gang, too. Uh, and don't ever let them fool you, because that's what it is. And, you know, you might have to deal with them here and there, but always keep in mind the cops are the biggest gang in town. And the fact that he's walking around with his hands like this and looking all, you know, <laughs> all tough guy. He's going to drag these seniors by the nape of the neck back to school. It's just fucking ridiculous. And I'll play it after you leave because I meant to play it before. But uh, just another. Man, Florida's all over the place. Like Florida, Florida pretended to be this beacon of like freedom, the city on the hill during COVID, which they weren't. DeSantis did just as much anti-COVID shit as anybody else. They, they just stopped doing it before yes. uh but then they got they did they they, they did the anti uh they did the anti-semitism bill didn't they in florida yes, they did. Yes. we don't have that shit in california <laughs> uh and we have hollywood so you know if if the choice is uh shutting down teenagers or being able to boycott israel i'll take california over florida any day uh <laughs> then they just did something else too they did something else fucked up besides this cop thing but they got a fucked up contingent of conservatives over there. In Florida, yeah, it's like a petri dish for, and they did do the the anti semitism thing. It was like, uh, are you guys insane? Like, so that guy's Oscar speech that would have been illegal in Florida. Cool. Yeah, and that guy's Jewish. The, yeah. the guy who gave the Oscar speech uh, is Jewish, and then well, I have that queued up too for later. But now they're calling him an anti-Semite and all this crazy shit. It's like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> but anyway. Cool state. Yeah, very cool. Uh, now, I think that's most of the topics. I know you had Perspicacity on your show recently. How did that go? Without maybe getting into the full content. Yeah, that was fun. We had this fun conversation uh, about a deadbeat that we both know of. It was uh, going through. It was faking a divorce to hide assets from the IRS, which I, I don't think is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun conversation. I really liked that guy. He was good on your show. Yeah, that was a good run. I like Perspect too. We had a good run on here, uh, and we'll see. Maybe he'll come back sometime. I was on his show a week, uh, like a couple of days after he was on yours, actually. Uh, just oh, that's good. By. Yeah, so you know we're on decent. Uh, we're on decent terms, hopefully. Uh, and I'm looking through here. Uh, if I have anything else, uh, what did what did you do this past weekend? Also, the biggest problem in the universe. It's not just the dick show. That thing has been taking off uh, to an insane degree. Yeah, it's huge. Um, maybe this yellow flash fight will, you know, because we've outed this. Uh, we've outed this uh, this uh, prolific pervert, Yellow Flash. So maybe we'll get some of his his audience tuning in to. To hear to hear about this degeneracy, which of course is legal, but oh my God, why would he be spreading this filth to hundreds of thousands of, of viewers? It's uh, it, it's astonishing the reach that this guy and to children too, no less. Uh, we'll be getting into that this Friday, so hopefully we'll see a little boost. 
on that. YouTuber should really do something about this guy. Uh, corrupt. I mean, I don't know if they can do something. He's too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> too big. He's this is, the pedophile this empire. Is, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this. I mean, this is. It, it, these guys are deflecting to Hollywood, but the real pedophile uh, cabal is on YouTube. It seems like. Or it could be. I don't know. I'm just Maybe. asking questions. We don't know for sure. Maybe. Yeah, yeah it could be. We don't want to say it. We don't want to be, you know, flat out call him a pedophile like he calls everybody else. Uh, but there's some smoke yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. There's some smoke there to be sure. It's not that that type of material is not in my reading uh, reading cabinet. I I, <laughs> I, I don't be surprised if it was. Yes. I would say, how did this get here? Yeah, what is this? Wait, I, where, where did all this drawings of children being fucked and uh, and promoting oh, it for years and years? I. I would rate it a zero out of 10, Ralph, (laughs) if I found such material in my house. I would say zero. Maybe even a negative two. Who planted this? Did Mark Furman plant this in my house? Like, what is going on? I. What the. Anyway. uh... (laughs) What the fuck, man? Oh yeah, oh boy! I sure do love. I sure do love drawings of children getting fucked. By the way, Vito's a pedophile. <laughs> what? That Vito guy. Win. Maybe Vito's the one who put it in his fucking house. Maybe that's what oh, happened. Oh, that could be. That uh, could be. We know he's got a master of stealth. You know, he probably uh, snuck in there. Well, let's, and... let's hook these guys up to an erection machine. Let's get some. <laughs> Wires around their cocks, and then show them this uh, material, and we'll see who gets the uh, hardest. <laughs> and do it all for super chats live on YouTube. <laughs> uh, now it might have to be on Rumble, though. I don't know. If, uh, if yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's I'm suspicious. Not sure. I'm not it's at a level where if Joe Biden gave me a pistol, I would, you know, <laughs> go track him yeah, down. Yeah, you like- know. I'm willing to give him that bit of leeway. If if Biden gave me a pistol, I, I don't know that I would be able to pull the trigger trigger on a yellow flash. Uh, but maybe Josh Moon would. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but uh, uh, I would love to see that fight. I want to see Vita <laughs> fight all these fat sounds. The pedo. <laughs> we need like a slogan for the fight, like the thriller of the Manila, but it's like the pedophile flash. <laughs> like, who's the Who's the real pedophile? Turn in to find out. One of these guys is maybe a pedophile. <laughs> Pedo what, pugilism. The, yeah, you know. I... Let's show the tape instead of reach. It was like, this guy ran aboard for pedophile. <laughs> this guy said, said we one time when talking about pedophile. This guy uh, gave this child rape hentai a 12 out of 10 on Twitter. Who's going to win? The pedo in the cage. <laughs> the rage in the cage. <laughs> in the cage. <laughs> Oh. Hounding pedos coming up next. <laughs> he did say he wanted to fight Vito. Remember that? I guess you did. Yes. Yeah, he did. <sighs> well, and Noel says he's going to kill him. So, what, like, what if Biden? What if Biden gave you a gun, that, like a trick gun, and the gun didn't have any bullets? Would you beat him to death with the gun? Like, what's the just you know? Said bang like the just, Joker's gun or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. This is just like fight me in real life, stupid shit that everyone knows is fucking dumb, but people still get all heated. They still don't. Over, and they're not getting heated about imaginary pedophiles. They're getting heated because they just don't like somebody. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, I fucking I beat his ass uh, when Joe Biden told me, I'm here, Vito. Joe Biden gave me this gun to shoot you, and it doesn't have any bullets. So I'm going to beat you in the cage because uh, I hate you and because you're a pedophile. Like, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> It's fucking insane, and there's plenty of real pedophiles on the internet as well. Like uh, that Alex there's Rosen pedophiles guy on Kiwi Farms. I got news for everyone: they're everywhere. They're like fucking ants. You can't get rid of them. They're everywhere. Yes, uh, and Moon knows that better than anybody. But uh, whatever. Uh, I appreciated you coming on the show today. A wide ranging conversation. Who do you have in the election? Who's gonna win? So I think they're going to steal it from him again, man. Wow. They've been flying around, uh, you know, immigrant voters for the last four years. Uh, I think they're going to steal it from Trump again. Well, that'd be bad news. Sorry to Trump, say, because uh, he's yeah. going to go to prison if they do. Um, but yep. uh, <laughs> uh, so. man, I remember saying that on your show before the last election. If he doesn't win, he's going to fucking jail. 
Yeah. And he, I still think he is. I said the same thing, and I said they're going to confiscate his wealth, and I'll be damned if they're not trying to take Trump Tower uh, and, what is it, 66 Wall Street right now uh, as we yeah, speak. Yeah, crazy. So uh, I appreciate you coming on, Mr. Masterson, longtime friend of the show. Tell people where they can fi- find you, where they can support you, where they can watch your shows, all that good stuff. Patreon.com slash the show. And uh, go subscribe to Biggest Problem on YouTube. We need more subscribers here. Every Friday night at 6, come watch us there. Very come cool. watch me torment Vito with toys. Vito's to booty. Himself. Vito's yeah, What is he weighing book. in at now? I didn't see it recently. 295. He's putting on weight again. Not again. <laughs> Dude. I told him I gave I know. him a few tips when he was on. You know, I lost 100 pounds. I'm 175 pounds down from oh, man. 277. It's like you lost one of Cog's wife's arms. <laughs> Cog is in hiding. We wish him the best, of course. Uh, and uh, I wish you the best, sir. What's that band scaffolding company? Where is, what where is, is that? What is that at? And then he says, You're running a small business? I'm going to go to Lisbon and beat this guy's ass? Like, uh, you think maybe you should be working on your small business and supporting your family? What the fuck are you doing, bro? You're going to go to prison for that. And then Cog says that it's his house, but yet Dan's scaffolding stuff's all in his backyard. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Like, why isn't it in his backyard? Unless he lives there along with you. But anyway. Um, They're like the British trailer park boys. Those guys. <laughs> If they made content like that, I would probably enjoy it. Uh, but instead, it's yeah. stalking me. Uh, but anyway, uh, we wish them the best, of course. Uh, and good luck. I appreciate you taking some time. I'll bother you again in a couple months to get you back on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you better stay sober. You need a plan in case you start straying again. Because, yeah. you know, people don't like to say, but it's inevitable. I know, you know, a good friend of mine was like, Ralph, don't get cocky. He's just like, you know, you're on a good run here, but you've been on some good yeah. runs before, and that's when you dip back in. So, yeah, he you was keep that high going. Like, ah, man, I'm feeling so good, but starting to dip a little bit. I better dip back in. Yeah, it's like, oh, that. yeah, like, oh, yeah, reward yourself. Have a little drink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've been on a good run. You didn't drink for five weeks. I mean, come on. Everything's going great. Just, uh, you know, nobody will know. Uh, uh, that's the biggest thing is lying uh, to yourself. Uh, and, you know, that's the normal yeah. thing. So, yeah, I appreciate you saying that. And great things happen when I stay sober. So, uh, and it makes my enemies less money uh, and it causes them to self destruct. So, that's even more important. <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest part. The funniest part is like, you know, when you're when you're close to addicts, they'll betray you by slipping back into it and it hurts you. But with you, it's the reverse because you will slip back into it and lure them in closer. Like your enemies will get closer to you when you're drunk. And then when you get sober, that ends up fucking them over. It's like the reverse of addiction. You know what I mean? It's the Ralph curse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Dick Masterson live on the kill stream. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Goodbye. See you. Goodbye. See you later. There we go. Yes, today on the kill stream. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!